Alright. Let's take a let's take a walk around real quick. Just make sure we're not seeing anything special here. No? Everything seems fine. Yes. I see that you have a little something special. All you need is an opportunity to use it. I have seen challengers touch his legendary camera. But only if they're able to defeat him. Well. Luckily for me. This might be the wrong way to do that. We'll see. It'll be the first time I've beaten the final boss if we beat them this time. Eventually it'll happen. We do have an extra candle flame. That could help. Mm. Two blood. Three blood. Bones. I'd rather have a one blood. Use the plant to re-roll. Well, fine. Bones it is. Three one rattler for six bones. So be it. Let's see if we can fuse something good. There are choices. Quite varied, actually. What can we infuse into? A lot. Okay, we have just choices upon choices. Hmm. I could infuse the pack right into something. I'd rather not lose a 3-7 for 1. I could give the touch of death to something. Could give these... Hmm. Who receives? The 2-2 two -two wolf? The 1-3... The one, hmm. The zero seven ringworm. I could give the zero seven a one three three bones to place a one three that I can kill, or give it to you. It's not that great. Wish I had something to make your cost cheaper. Honestly, maybe just clean up the pack right out of here. I don't know. I'm not seeing any like. Amazing combos to beat, other than just like get rid of a uh, a card that's kind of a pricey to thing to just clean up the deck, you know. And we can give your give you to um who's somebody that I'm like definitely gonna play when I get him. Three seven, probably play you for sure, right? I'm not sure if you're allowed to infuse two sigils to the same card. Maybe I should just like put the pack rat ability on like a. Yeah, like uh, the stoat, you know? I'm not sure if you can, like, put him up there twice and give him two. It doesn't seem like you can. <laughs> Fine choice. So, clean up the deck and save the sigils for the strong boys. We'll see. I need that bifurcated strike. It's quite good. Hello again. Oh, lucky, lucky. The, the amorphous sigil turned into bifurcated strike. Nice. So I can put him here. And he'll take out the coyote. And he'll, um... Well, he can't hit the back because it's flying, but he'll deal three three to him. That's huge, actually. You have one, two, three, four, five damage coming at me the first turn. So unless I block you, do damage. We lose. Alright. CG plays. Do your thing. That's six damage. Wait, do we literally win first turn? That's so OP. What a lucky draw. Well, have fun losing before you play a single card. Nice. Easy victory. Onward. Ah, choices. Another skink. We could we could maybe combine them at the mycologist for a two four. A mantis. Always good to infuse that bifurcated strike into other things. River Otter. Or I could re-roll for something different. So I think the Mantis for future fusion is a good investment. Hmm. What do we have in the way of a totem? We have the insect totem, which works out well with a ringworm. I think we leave it. We could go for items. Get another pack, rats. I'm good. Let's increase uh, the health or the power of something. Or maybe clear something out of our deck that we don't want. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There's room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its power, said another. 
One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. Plus one power. More if we get greedy. Pick something else, he says. Why? The first one's free. Hmm. Make the skink stronger. Make the... Honestly, make the mantis stronger. But we're going to want to infuse the mantis. Right? Or we can make it a 2-1. Make CG plays. Who would we infuse... Who would we infuse this to? Somebody with um, the highest attack power or poison. Poison for the insta-kill. You, I could give... You would be the best choice for bifurcated strike as far as lethality. Because you're a guaranteed kill on... Actually, no, because sometimes bifurcated strike can win you the battle before it even starts with the uh, damage straight to the boss. You're the best... Bifurcated strike on you would be the best for killing creatures. Bifurcated strike on you. This being bifurcated strike. Bifurcated strike on you would be the best. Well, I guess actually on you would be the best. But you're also really difficult to play, so... Infuse you into you when we get a chance. Or maybe you, but probably you. And so increasing your power a little bit would be also good. So we'll... We'll increase you by one, but we won't risk any more than that. The first one I think is always a freebie. Yeah. Surely your creature could become more powerful. But you need to risk another moment by the fire. No, that's good. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take the freebie. Push your luck or pull away. I'll pull away. The survivors are right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few, spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your CG plays. Nice. Good. Now he's a four-seven. Eventually, you can infuse him with, with bifurcated strike. If we're lucky. I need corpse even to put on some my Yura Yuli or whatever it is. Ringworm. Now you also have the ability to infuse insects. We get the same things. This is actually a really, um, this is actually a really difficult one to beat. Anytime there's, I see the work rant combo, it's just, it's tough. But I do have a CG plays I can play early, which is pretty good. Good, good, good. Use the squirrel to put out the CG plays to kill one of these things. Sure, right here. He has guardian as well, and he has the loose tail. Loose Tail pushes you to the right, so I'm gonna put you here. So he can just, like, soak tons of damage. We'll end turn here. Good, good, good. Yes. Oh, oh, wait, no, why did you... Oh, bummer. Each time, each one that we got played, he moved to the right. At least he'll take that thing out before it gains anything. I might not need to use an item here. I can use a squirrel. Here, I... I regret you moving all the way to the right. If I'd had you over here, would you? Would you have gone in front of them? I don't think so. When, when this thing summons, you'll move in front of it, though. Use the squirrel to give us a... Uh... Hold on. Are we going to like take lethal damage here? You'll become... So I'll... Hmm. If I put the ringworm here, the squirrel will be gone. How much damage have we taken? We're down one. I'll destroy that, but you're gonna come in. These will be... They'll do three damage to the ringworm. This will be a three-two. That'll be a three-two. Plus it'll transform, so that'll be a... Probably like a... Probably like a four-five. I think it's gonna have lethal. I need to, like, take that card, I think. I'm gonna use the ringworm... Here. To block all your damage. This thing's gonna be terrifying. I can cut it up. Or I can take it. Hmm... Cutting up. I'd rather save the hook, but I think we need it now. Honestly, we could just. Honestly? The smarter strategy might have been just to save the hook and just eat the candle. I've got three candles. I can afford to lose one and save the hook for a more important fight later. Well, we made our choice. And now we must live with it. Oh, this transformed into an ant queen. Oh. Actually made it weaker. Maybe, uh, maybe it's fine. A card bearing such as played an ant is created in your hand. Maybe them transforming is not so bad. Actually, yeah, maybe it's not so bad. 
Alright, so you... What do we want to do now? I think we can just play this and be alright, I think. And our turn. Here we are. Gonna move to block it. Okay. Um, draw this. Do we want... Actually, I can win right now. There we go. We had to waste a really good item, but... We saved that flame, but to be fair, I think just throwing the flame away would have been better than using the hook. Yeah, we're not gonna use up two flames before we got there. Well, now we know. Sometimes it's better to intentionally lose a flame. Especially now that we have uh, spares. Save those good items, you know? We'll remember that for the future. The trial of health. The three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. The trial of power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. The trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cause at least four blood combined to pass. Well, what do we have? So we have a health. Two, two, three, two, two, four, one, one, seven, seven, seven. As long as we don't draw these two, health's looking good. Power, we need four, two, one, one. Got a lot of ones and a zero. It's a bit of a gamble, to be honest. Blood, cost four. One, one, two, bones. It's, I think our best bet is going to be health. Probably. Let the trial of health begin. Think we're good? Yeah. Thirteen, we're fine. The trial was passed. Alright. We can get a warren, which has many lives, which is actually good. So you can keep sacrificing it. And when it's played, it gives uh, a rabbit. So, it's not terrible. You can always infuse its sigils into something else, right? Click you. An adder. Just has sprinter. Infusing that's not bad, though. Although we already have a lot of things to infuse. A wolf. A 3-2 with waterborne. It's not bad, though. Two blood sacrifice makes it difficult to play. I think we go for the warren. Because you can just sac- you play a squirrel. You sacrifice the squirrel, put the warren in its place. The warren gives you a rabbit, which is basically, functionally, a squirrel. Then you can play the squirrel again and sacrifice it for something else. And then you can sacrifice this as many times as you want. Yeah. It's not a bad card. Seems good. Onward. Ah. Choices. Hmm. I think this is the best of those three. Make our creatures fly. For one turn. Scissors. Cut up one of their cards. Is good. Making them entirely skip their turn. Also extremely good. Because sometimes cutting up one card is not enough. Good items for the most part. Oh. Oh, he blew out two. So I get two greater smokes. Oh. Even easier. A rotten scent caused you to retch. Doubled over. A mucky boot entered your field of view. You looked up to behold an unnaturally large figure. I am the angler. You are the fish. I see. Smells like fish. Well then. The Kingfisher. Nothing I can do to it. I can play the... I can use... I can use a squirrel... To play... The Warren. Yes. I can sacrifice you all I want. What do I want to play though? Remember, the way this boss works is the second phase. You don't want a bunch of weak things on the board. You want things with zero attack or very strong attack and lots of hit points. A bunch of one twos on the board is actually problematic for us. We do need to not lose in the process. 
Hmm. I say we wait. Okay. He wants to take my warren. Won't let him. He can have the squirrel and I'll push his kingfisher back. One of them. I'll try to take some damage. Though we do need to be careful not to lose in the process, which we kind of are about to. So, that's a problem. Here, that'll, that'll do right there. Three, four. Yeah. We'll use a rabbit. Sacrifice the rabbit to play. CG plays. Could just use the warrant, actually. And that'll do three damage to get us back to neutral. And we'll take two. And that'll be fine for now, actually. And turn. There we are. Ah, we block him as well. We don't block him, we get in his way. The protection. I don't need squirrels, I have the warren. The rattler. Hmm. What do we do here? It's all about setting up for the second phase of these boss battles. I could use the bullfrog. Hmm. Just wait. I mean, oh wait, never mind. He's gonna, he's gonna steal my thing. I didn't realize I uh, I should have picked a squirrel. All right, let's give him a let's give him a one three, I guess. You can have uh. Wait, if I put the if I put it here, can he even take it? I guess we'll find out. And turn. I guess he can't because I killed the squirrel that was in his way. Yeah. Works out fine. Pushes that... Pushes that back for us. The ringworm. Um... Hmm. I'll actually... I'll actually play it to stop that damage. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and... You know, no, we wait. Leave an empty spot to put a squirrel down. So he takes the squirrel instead. There we are. Play the squirrel. You can have that. In turn. Eventually we should win this back and forth. Slowly. The squirrel's yours. I'm just gonna keep a squirrel on hand. Hmm. Let's hurry this up, though. I feel it's gonna end poorly for us. We got too many guys attacking with one damage. We're gonna take a lot of pain when the bait comes through. And now he's going to take my warren. Hello again. I see you. Fine. And turn. See, this is where we're in trouble, so we played this wrong. Sorry about that outside. Go fish. I'll just mute my mic so you don't hear that. Okay, it's gone. Um, you're gonna kill that, and the shark will kill you. You're gonna kill that, and the shark will kill you. You're gonna kill that, the shark will kill you in two turns. You're doing nothing. Can't actually play anything yet. Um, we don't really. We need is to draw, draw like good cards. Wait, can I just actually? Actually, oh, that just that literally just saved our lives. Goodbye, all of you. And now, we're good to go. That's all we needed. Go fish. That was the perfect draw. I'm lucky, I'm lucky you put the bait behind it so it's going to end up dying to those two, but... Oh, hello. Oh. This might be what we needed. CG plays. Wait, 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 wait. He's going to take that and activate that, but he'll do four through here. Actually, I want this. Actually, the Yearly's just gonna go. I think we're fine, actually. But just to. I think the Yearly's just gonna. Yeah, because it's waterborne, the Yuri is just gonna attack past and move it on its own. I think this does better for us, though. Yeah. 11 damage. 
Get some extra teeth while we're at it. There we go. Got some good draws at the end there. Reignite. Thank you. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Maybe. Strange larva. It's fine. The douse. Personally don't love it. Amoeba. It's alright. It's a one-two for bones. You become... Actually, for science, since I already have... Like, I'm already giving fledgling to these things via my totem. What happens if you have a fledgling given to a thing that already has fledgling? I'd love to know. We'll find out. Shaken, but with a newfound resolve, you moved past the pond where the angler now lay. Very well, then. Let me think. Sheets of icy snow battered your body as you fought your way up to a vantage point. The snow-covered trees jutted from the landscape like prickly misplaced teeth. You, conti you continued on through the snow line. Well then, a chance for a good card with a sigil on it. Or a card, could be a death card maybe. We can remove something from our deck if we want to. Or get some items, which would just be a, I believe a pack rat in this case. I don't want another pack rat in my deck to be honest. Just one, one more dead card to deal with. I can remove a card actually. What would I remove? Maybe the rattler? It's a little bit of deck bloat. I don't use it much. Most of the cards are decent. I can remove the skink. I don't really feel like that's a great card right now. Yeah, we could get rid of that actually. But then again, we could, we could get something amazing here. The Trial of Health. The three drunk cards must have at least six health combined to pass. The trial of Power. The three drunk cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. The Trial of Wisdom. The three drunk cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. We have lots of sigils. We've got a we actually have quite a few that don't have sigils. Um, power. We've got quite a few cards that only have one or zero power. Health. Um, I feel like most of your deck is doing alright on health. Odds are good for health. Not guaranteed, though. Let the trial of health begin. Easy. Fifteen total. The trial was passed. A magpie, it's just a 1-1 one, one that costs 2, that moves around, has airborne, and hoarder. It allows you to search your deck for a specific card that's actually not terrible. I don't care about the sprinter or the flight, just the fact that it lets me look for the right card is not terrible. It does cost 2 though. A skunk that has, that reduces power and burrows to take hits. It reduces the hit we would take. That's okay. Ah. Bifurcated strike. Plus power equaling the number of card counter. Basically, the number of cards in my hand equals its strength. It's lone hit points, but not a terrible thing to infuse. I'll take this. The tentacles. Onward. Unfortunately, we will be given a pack rat here. All full. But... Pack rat. Alas, we take it. Though I don't want the deck bloat. Onward. Alas, we meet again. So we do. Moosebuck and a mole. The fights are no joke. In the snow line. Hmm. Alright, so we probably want the Warren. You will move to the right. I want my Warren to stay alive for a while. You go here. The Warren goes here. I guess the skink will prove useful after all. So I'll put you here to soak the moose buck's hits for a few turns. Actually, no. No, the mole will move in your way. 
and stop the moose bug from even coming out. It's actually pretty good for us. We'll leave it like that for a while. Never mind. Effort. I wasn't thinking properly. Hmm. Draw a card. We don't need to draw squirrels with the worn out. We can play the rabbit and some of the pack rats. Start working on the mole. We could use an item. Do I want to use an item? I'd rather keep that. I'd rather keep that. I could probably draw something better than the fan. I could try, like, this would be... Yeah, let's try and get something better than the fan. Use this just to clear it out. Not that I care about you guys having flying right now. Place the rabbit. Sacrifice the warren and the rabbit. I wouldn't... Actually, if I can move the mole over here, the moose buck moves over here. That's fine, actually. We'll put you here, move the mole to block you. I could put the stunted wolf... No. That's fine. Leave it. There we go. Perfect manipulation. Oh. oh I guess he only gets to do the tail once. Well, that's fine. Um. Draw a card. Ringworm. Perfect. You can survive. This beast of a creature. And... Uh, now we... We could summon the stunted wolf. For some damage. Might as well. Actually, the mole will move there and keep you locked there. It's fine. There we are. Oh, but that freed up the elk. Mistakes were made. Now you're gonna kill my warren. I guess more you have it, Reginald. Fantastic. You can... I might save you to kill the moose buck at the right time. Oh no. This is looking bad. Did I ever... Did the pack rat ever give me anything? Can't look right now. I will need... What's this? Stink bug, okay. Did it get... It, I think it just gave me a fan right back. Alright, we're in a bit of trouble here. I use Reginald to kill the 3-5. He'll die to the 2-4 afterwards, but... Reduces the damage on the board. The stink bug... 1, 2, turns this down. The problem is heal. You're gonna... How's my health? We're doing fine. If I place a stink bug here, like, it's just gonna move past us anyway, so what's gonna happen on his turn? I'm gonna kill this. And that's gonna kill that. That'll be my turn. His turn, um, the back lane will move up first. And then you will attack, and you will attack. And their abilities will trigger. And I think... You'll both move to the side, or maybe you'll just move to the side. Either way, one of you is going to end up here. After you guys deal me four damage. Which I will survive. So maybe the stink bug will go here, and then weaken the elk as it slides over here. For the round after. Cracking. And turn. Take that out. Um, there, there we go. There we go. As expected. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. So it is left to right. Their sigils, so their sigils activate from... So, the turn order is these things move forward, left to right, and these things attack left to right, and then these things activate their sigils, the movement sigils, left to right. Okay. So, now you're weakened. We're taking two, but we're dealing two. And you'll, this turn, you should reverse that and move here in front of him. After you attack, he'll kill you. I think we're just kind of... I think we're just fine. How's, how's our health? Yeah, we're fine. Need B, actually. Well, that's not to kill you. I could trade something. If something's about to die. I think we're fine, though. We'll wait. There we go. And he moves. Now, Reginald will kill you. I can trade you. Oh, fine. Draw a card. Nice. I can use, actually, the four. Take him out and have overkill next turn. There we are. The zero three is coming in. Well, that stops your damage. So basically, you will deal no damage. You'll kill that, but we have lethalist turn anyway. So how do we maximize our damage? Draw a card. Not you. I, don't, I want to test you, but I can't... We're going to win before we get a chance to, so... Might as well take you out. Which over here. 
increase our damage for overkill. We have so many teeth. We could get so many pelts. Too many. They'll bloat our deck. 